really exciting time to the women's game. Um, and, you know, it's something you dream of when you're little. I think especially being a local girl, um, it's always been my dream to make Edgebaston my home. I think it's a great pathway um, for the women's game and really exciting. When I started, um, women's cricket wasn't even professional. It wasn't till what was it, 2014, when the England's women team became professionalised. You can't be what you can't see, and um, it's difficult to see a clear path um, to achieving, you know, your ultimate goal if it's not there. And I think now to have that structure means that so many girls can one feel more inclined to get into the game and get involved, and then also see a future within that. Um, I think that's so promising and, you know, from that the talent pool will only get wider and, you know, engagement levels will increase and cricket can become a great game for everyone. My dad used to play here, but it was actually my older sister. She's about five years older than me um, and she started just going off um, somewhere every, every few nights um, and I was like, what's she doing, you know? Can I tag along? So my dad was like, all right, you can come and watch. We weren't sure if I could get involved because I was only six and I was a girl and it was like an all, technically all boys club um, with my sister obviously participating. And then um, my dad went up to the coach, Chris Guest, um, who he knew, um, who's actually the um, England under-19s head coach. So a bit of like a circle back. I'm now working with him again, which is great. And he was like, yeah, go on, get stuck in. And I guess, you know, the rest is history. Um, trained with my sister, would come down the nets all the time and um, typical younger sister, I want to do what she's doing and I want to be way better at her. I think the club were great, um, the lads always saw me as an equal, no matter if I was younger than them or a girl um, and the environment was amazing like um, I just got stuck in and I felt like you know I was one of the lads which was, which was pretty decent. I think I realised I was, I was alright when I was eight and um, my coaches at the club put me forward for county under 11s trials with the girls, um, which is something that you don't normally do at eight years old. You normally wait till you're of age. Um, so um, when I got into that squad, I was a bit like, oh, I might be all right at this. Um, and then I think it was my final season of under 11s um, where I sort of just, I turned up to my first game and I went to my dad, I went, uh, first game of the season that was, and I went, Dad, I'm going to hit 100 today. Um, you could say that was a bit cocky, actually. I probably shouldn't have said that. Um, but it happened, and like <laughs> and the run sort of just kept churn churning out um, throughout that season, and I just thought, like, wow, I love this, um, and I want to keep doing it for the rest of my life. But I think, like, all in all, I want to be the best I can be. I want to maximise my potential. Um, and grow as much as I can as a cricketer. Um, I think there's always dreams of playing on the biggest stage possible, you know, representing your country in the biggest competitions possible. Um, but it's all about just seeing, seeing what happens, doing my best and seeing where that takes me.